So I found this article. So the New York Post has become more and more like the anti, the new anti-woke media, which is the second, which means it'll be like Cosmic Book News was basically, I won't be surprised if Cosmic Book News talked about this too, but they really have been saying anything. They had, the, they made a whole bit, a whole article about, you know, Mulan, how, how, how Mulan just proved that, you know, Hollywood is basically the Chinese propaganda. But yes, okay, then now this is what, this is what, yeah, I agree with them completely on this. Oscars wrote quota, which is basically just pandering to Twitter. Well, backfiring Hollywood spectacular, okay? Or, you know, the wokeness has always been backfiring. And I thought Hollywood would have learned from the great, great woke fall of 2019. The great woke fallout. With massive, with, with the most, with the most of the big flops of the year being woke films. You had movies such as, Ca no, okay, Captain Marvel actually made money, but you had this box office disappointments like Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. You had disappointments such as, of course, the amazing Black Christmas that nobody watched. Booksmart, nobody watched. Cats, okay, that's not that movie's not woke, but it's still Cats. Still, just it's all it's just awful. You had movies like Dark Phoenix. You had movies like you know Dark Fate that flopped, and of course, a lot of the more successful movies that were semi woke. But yeah, you know. There's a lot of semi-woke movies that were pretty successful, you know, basically a lot of those, you know, types of movies. Well, they're not fully woke, like Endgame is one of those examples. It's not really too woke, but there are some woke scenes in the movie, you know, because, of course, anything of Disney, actually any Disney movie of 2019 has many semi-woke moments in the movie. Well, there was some wokeness in the movie, but it isn't, you know, going down preaching to you. Like, you know, Dark Fate did, Captain Marvel did, of course, Dark Phoenix did, and all these movies, basically, all they did was really try to preach to the audiences and how woke they are. There's also Man Black and Astro, but really, every woke movie of last year, except for Captain Marvel being the only outlier here, was a spectacular flop. And now, now the Oscars are saying, oh my god, Captain Marvel and Booksmart and Cuties was the new woke movie. We we need more of that, according to the Oscars. But yes, according to last February's way, 93% of us all are not watching the Academy Awards. Now Oscar is wondering, how do I whittle down that last 7% answer, wokeness? If you... That, thank you, heard from coming from the Wild Wild Land on tu Tuesday with the sound of the Academy Award, Grammy Pryor's face in the sidewalk by announcing he was formally rejecting a pursuit of... Artistic quality in favor of Byzantine quota system. Sign of 2024, your project can't be considered for best picture unless, it's, unless it sets the diversity rules. So basically, yes, all of the movies will be coming more diverse to attempt to win an Oscar. Because, of course, the Oscars, they have to be woke for Twitter. And again, this is going to backfire on them especially. And I won't be surprised if, you know, normal blockbusters, movies that are not really expecting to get good reviews by critics, are going to ignore this. And yeah, there's going to be the, crea you know, movie creators and, you know, movie developers who are going to uh, still attempt to ignore this. They're still going to ignore this and just make movies regardless. But it's really going to be your skill as a writer, especially if you if for European films with are mostly ninety to percent one hundred percent white or European in the home countries, mostly on ninety to one hundred percent their ethnicity in the country. For example, a lot of French movies, you know, are mostly French a, a, for, 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 until very recently. Or, for example, most Russian movies, most of the people in Russian, or very few minority people in Russian movies that already live in the country because Russia is a very big country. Or, for example, a lot of, you know, Ukrainian films. Or mostly Ukrainian, as Polish films are mostly Polish. But again, that's not how Hollywood thinks. Okay, they're not, and they're gonna, just going to try to kick those countries out of ever winning an Oscar again. I know, they, I know there's only like one or two foreign movies that ever win Best Picture. But it's just absolutely ridiculous. Your project can't even be, you know, winning Best Picture. You know, to boil that down to do rules, be eligible for Best Picture, a film has to check two of the four boxes. One is to represent the glorious diversity for Twitter. If a problem is a movie is set in a or any time or place, another is to, you know, minorities or women as head of department. Another is a photo of accident and marketing and decisions in the departments. The easiest criterion to make appetence is the... Is for members of uh, of the representative group being anyone 
but straight non uh, like handicapped males. Welcome to World Paid Intercepts, Pete Wokoa. I'm so Hollywood readers who listen to feel free, free totally five, till five years from now. If every dollar boy in Rocky goes over in America, so biz, every Oscar is black. Soon the last surviving copy of God the Wind will be locked in a vault, accessible only to the scholars of racism. But you'll be soon be able to see Tower reenacted in Burbank and Culver City. It seems that obvious the directors of kind who of make Oscar are going to are not going to dump. Oscar winner cinematographer was the third Oscar poser Zam Hitters because the white dudes, and not to take people who worked on it before the next Christopher Nolan film makes a film like Dunkirk, he isn't going to stick to Kevin Hart and Aquafina in it. The visibility is largely visible behind the scenes, they'll give an underrepresented types of foothold in the industry, but I'm skeptical. Hollywood has always operated at a tight, tight regard, same as the Neil Pacific Club. Even by the Reedy Miller Toast character and Bob Bellin has a career. Maybe Uncle Bonnie won, won, won Uncle Paramount Pictures for 40 years. I would suspect that the outsiders welcomed and get to curb the minority diversity hires, you know, in Hollywood. And yeah, Hollywood has been going woke for the past, you know, 20, but no, you know, has been going woke for the past, you know, 20 years, basically. No, not 20 years, 10 years. So, yes, basically, we'll have more, more book smarts. Movies that no one's going to want. No one's going to care about. I'm, I'm always referring back to book smart because that is an example of a movie that fits all of, you know, Hollywood's quotas. And, yeah, and yeah basically, it was supposed to be the next few Spears Day Off. And it, the next, The Breakfast Club. It never was. No one bought Booksmart. No one cares about Booksmart. No one, in terms of comedies, Booksmart is being outsold by both movies. And those movies are over 20 to 30 years old. Okay? These woke movies are going to flop and continue to flop. And Hollywood is face until probably around Hollywood realize that this stuff is pointless. Making woke movies, you know, instead of making entertainment, making, you know, instead of making woke movies... Instead of making it, you know, entertainment. So I'm examining a bit. If we look at the fine print, you'll discover they're all very loose. While the studios exist to say themselves few, agents is ruined crowd by a couple of those and gains, finally some of those. But the real controversies revolve around black representation. What they hammer announced this week is going to model various critics for long. People who fancy themselves as America's most daring creative leaders are going to be crazy at another hashtag Cody and basically Twitter and case themselves, of course, for another round of woke reforms. The Academy, however, has opened the door to considerations other than merit, and its reputation will suffer accordingly. The only way we watch the Super Bowl, they suggested a great team was disqualified for reasons other than how well it played. But the Academy has already done the work itself into relevance. It gave the top honors to, so obviously not great for criticism as Moon White, which is a movie that nobody watched, The Shape of Water, and Green Book. I like the movie Green Book, but yeah, I don't really think it's deserving of the best movie of the year. I actually have like five or six movies on my top of my top movies of all time that are probably higher that came out in twenty eighteen than Green Book. So in that so in saying approved socio political messages, ETO, the Oscar ceremony process in Yan Sign, be talented Yoko to the Velika was supposed to retweet this message that the press is getting in your and explaining younger, you hate us, not will you hate us. No thanks, he's ninety three percent, next year will be ninety four. And probably by twenty twenty four it'll be like Two percent, and yep, that's basically it. The Oscars are the stein, and I think how yeah, the Oscars have basically just sealed the fate essentially. So that's basically it. Goodbye.